Hi everyone, our journal page today and I'm working in this journal that I've made only from paper bags from the supermarket. It's only one signature and I'm starting <laughs> with this page. I'm taking some gesso and I want to go not all not all the page, just part of it and I'm not uh, going for complete coverage just some kind of a white a background inside the background <laughs> so I want some of the uh, paper to show through I don't care it's, it's going to be quite grungy And my gesso is a uh, kind of old and very thick so I'm having a little bit of problem spreading it around I, of course I can pick up some uh, water with it but because I'm not looking for perfection then I don't really care this is good enough for what I have in mind and I'm going to let this dry before I continue okay so this is dry and I want to add a hint of color to this a uh, background and I've picked this three colors I've got a hydrogena blue some lavender and sage and I've picked this three because I already know what kind of painting papers I want to use a uh, to make my focal point and it's the these uh, three pages these are just uh, pages from this dictionary where I always use some excess uh, paint that I have left and I clean all kinds of uh, stamps or just stencil on top of it some of the leftover paint so I always have some interesting painty papers to use so these are the three pages that I've picked and now I'm just going to take these three colors and just with my finger I want to spread it and smear it a little bit with a baby wipe because I just as I said want a hint of this and not a a lot of paint I want to keep it mostly white and just with a hint of color don't know how much of it you can see but it's there I don't want it to be completely white then it's just when you have solid color it doesn't matter if it's the background or if you are stenciling when you've got solid color it just looks flat and artificial and not interesting at least that's my opinion so here we go too much wiping it again a little bit too much yeah good enough for me so I want some branches and leaves and I'm going to use this three pages to do it so what I'm going to do I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to draw some leaves and wherever it goes it goes that's how I like it when by turning the page then it will be random and I don't have to plan where each a leaf is going to fall and I want for both ways and I'm going to do it I will have probably have too too many to use on this page but 
then I will have leftovers for other projects so I don't care and I'm just uh, holding the three pages together and using um, nail scissors it's just easier I'm not concerned about being precise again it really doesn't matter as you as you can see it's quite loose and of course you can you can do it any other way that you like if you like other shapes of leaves you can go with it and if you are not feeling comfortable with this uh, free hand <laughs> leaves you can always take a stencil and trace a shape of a leaf that you like or you can uh, take if you have stamps in shape of a leaf again you can stamp it and then fussy cut it so now i'm just going to continue uh, cutting all these uh, leaves and then i'll be back Okay, I'm back and as you can see I've got lots of leaves here and I'm going to start with just doing a central uh, stem like so and just going to pick some glue stick and start gluing some leaves. So let's see, here we go. I think it's maybe just a little bit too big. Okay. I want them to go just a little bit out of this frame, if I can call it a frame. And now just going to start putting some, yeah but maybe I just need them a little bit smaller like so yeah something like that and for the other side let's go like this again a little bit shorter As you can see it's not planned I'm just playing with it and having fun let's see let's put this one here so now I'm going to glue it and after let's see I'll just do it quickly so we can see how I'm continuing maybe I was overestimating it's a little big than what I thought I would do I don't know if I can manage two more stems I really wanted the three we'll see they will overlap that's for sure but I can always change as I go okay so we've got this first stem with the leaves and now I'm going like this and I'm doing it loosely again because I like that it has a wobbly uh, line and that it's not perfect of course if you don't like this kind of stuff <laughs> do it however you like I really want it a very loose, very wobbly. That's the only description <laughs> I can think of. Okay, first one. Next, let's see. Another one that will probably go like this, I think. So let's do. Okay. 
So I'm going to do the same thing all over again, just starting to uh, put some leaves. Of course, as you can see, these are too big, so I'm going to shorten them and do another one here. And let's see, maybe another one here. Yeah. Whatever happens, happens. So I'll be back. Okay, so I finished uh, gluing all the leaves and going around them. Now I'm just going around my, I don't know, frame for that matter. And again, just a wobbly line. Very loose. And I like that it's going out of the frame and now I'm just doing another line again. just continuing the stems a little bit just so they will also get out of the frame I like it and and I want some word here I'm not sure which I'm going to find something and I'll be back okay so pick some words and I've got here create which I'm going to put some here and every day and I'm going to stick it again a little bit out of the frame just to go with everything else <laughs> and that's my page a really simple page and quick and I hope you liked it and I hope you will try your hand at something uh, similar so thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below I'll be seeing you in my next video Bye for now.